Hi, Pastor David. This is Reverend Essie, and um, I'm trying to answer the question that I saw. You had a video on YouTube about should pastors have discernment? Are, are pastors required to have discernment? I forget how you had the, the uh, question, actually, but I kind of looked some things up, and um, this is what I came up with. Okay, I'm reading from my notes here. Um, just some things that I found while I was studying. Um, it, you know, 1 John 2.27 tells us that the Holy Spirit teaches. And uh, you can also look in John 14, 26, 16, 13, 6, 63, 1 Peter 3, 18, John 16, 8, and 2 Timothy 3, 16. And then I found in Micah 4, verses 1 to 8, where God established the towers over the flock. And verse 8 is telling us the tower, which was the stronghold of the daughters of Zion which is speaking of the pastors. The pa pastors are the towers over the daughters of Zion, over God's God's body, God's church. And Second Chronicles, not that you don't know that, but Second Chronicles 26, 9 to 10, uh, just as King Uzziah built towers, King Jesus builds them, which are pastors, over his flock. And then it says he fortifies them in verse 9. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 9. It says Jesus fortifies them. So what I did was I looked up the word fortify, which means strengthen physically, mentally, morally, spiritually, to enrich. Harden, encourage, ready, season, and toughen. In order to be that way and to defend the flock, the gifts of God must be in place, which includes discernment as well. In old days, as with King Saul and Samuel the prophet, they sacrificed a lamb to know, which actually to hear God's direction. Now we pray to God. After Jesus... There are no more sacrifices. There are no more sacrifices needed. So we pray to God. Amen. And then it's talking about a watchtower. The, the, the Greek, the, the uh, Hebrew word for watchtower is mitzpah, M-I-T-S-P-E-H, which means observatory, taken from safeth, which is T-S-A-P-H-E-H, the pastor is to be in a place of looking over the natural and to be in the spirit realm for only then can he see in the distance the enemy approaching. When a pastor is too close to the sheep, he cannot see the enemy. The pastor must have discernment to be able to see when the enemy is trying to approach his body, his church. Amen. He has to have a critical balance. Isaiah 21, 6, the watchman to declare what he seeth. The watchman is to de declare what he sees. Seeth is ra, R-A-A-H. That means to see, behold, discern, gaze, take heed, perceive. Now, when I was looking up the word perceive, I thought about in the Bible when the Bible says that um, Jesus perceived what was in their hearts or what was in their thoughts. And I looked it up, and um, it's in Luke 5.22. Jesus discerned their thoughts. That means they were wordless. They didn't say a word, but he discerned what they were saying. He perceived what they were saying. And just as Jesus did it, we should do it too. Because Jesus is our big brother in the body of Christ. He, he's our example. Uh, amen. As son of God. Like him, we should be also. Actually, that's what the, uh, the Star of David means. As above, so below. It's two triangles. As above, so below. Like Jesus, like the pastors, like us. Amen. Part of the Holy Spirit indwelling is discernment. Exodus 2, 15 to 19. Moses stood and drove away the evil shepherds and watered the sheep. Now, how did he know that they were evil? How did he know that the other shepherds approaching were evil shepherds? He perceived it. He discerned it. We have to have strong discernment in order to be pastors over God's, God's people. He wouldn't put us there if we didn't have it. And if we're there and we don't have it, 
uh, somebody's operating in air. Amen. God is all knowledge. He's all power, omniscient, omnipotent. And God is not going to put us um, in, in, a, um, in a place. He's not going to place us. He's not going to put us in a place where we lack anything. We shouldn't lack discernment. We're going to need discernment. The enemy is slick. Amen. Um, that's rhema knowledge, actually. Uh, Moses stood and drove away the evil shepherds. How did he know that they were there? Heart knowledge. Rhema knowledge. He felt it. Amen. He perceived it. He discerned it. It was in operation in him. Pastors should have vision. That includes discernment. You have to have discernment in order to have a vision. Amen. Pastors need discernment in order to stand against the enemy. So there you have it. Um, I, it wasn't pretty, you know, and, and uh, I didn't practice this or anything, but those are just the notes that I have. And um, I, I know I sound kind of fast, but I know you can stop this and, and you know, read in the Bible and check out these notes. I, I hope I helped anyway. But um, that's what I got on it. Hey, God bless you. And thanks for giving us the opportunity to be able to do this. Amen. Have a great day.